So, based off of what Richard just talked to us about the law of conservation of momentum, we have a couple of different momentum and conservation examples. Now, for the momentum part, we have object red, yes, object red, has 100 kilograms and goes at a velocity of 10 meters per second. Now, we've got an object green, which is 75 kilograms and a velocity of 11 meters per second. Now, if you don't know momentum like we do, you can say that this has more momentum. Well, actually, it doesn't. So if you go to here and you plug in the formula P equals M times velocity, we come up with the 1,000 kilograms meters per second. Now, when we come down to this one, we see that we do the math and it says 825 kilogram meters per second. That's a lot of weight we pull it over every second. Now we go over here to the conservation mode. Well we can say that we can say that two objects don't weigh the same. But they have different masses and different velocities, but yet the momentum is the same. So we'll say object one has a mass of the same, 100 kilograms, with the velocity of 10 meters per second. All right. Another object has 500 kilograms times 2 meters per second. Do the math and do the basic algebra, you get just about the same answer. So that is conservation. Now, we have done the basic, you know, travel and error stuff. This is on the whiteboard. Now, we're going to go over to the other side of the room and do our experiment. Turn it off. <laughs>